What up? So, it's been a little bit since we talked, and, um, got some lunch in my teeth. How gross is that? Fucking floss. Um, been a little bit since we talked. I am just now leaving a doctor's office up here in Polson. I came up here yesterday to renew my DOT card for my CDL. Don't hit me, bitch. God, traffic is crazy sometimes. I came up here to renew my DOT card for my CDL. Hang on, I'll get to ya. I think I got it. Yeah, DOT card, CDL, renewal. And when you do, you have to do UA. Obviously, it's clean. Ha! I got it. Um, it's clean. But uh, they found pretty high level of protein and blood <laughs> in my urine. Which could mean a few things. Which, all of them are kind of scary. Um, kidney stones? Fuck a kidney stone, dude. Fuck that shit. That's just scary, man. And, um... No, honestly, I don't know what else. Uh, diabetes, I guess. My dad, my mom, and my sister. My sister that passed away in 2006. They all had diabetes. I'm kind of nervous that I might have it now. Which I actually, I don't know exactly what the fuck that means. It's gonna be life changing though, I know that, which kind of fucking sucks. So I came in today to take another pee test. Give him some more pee. And... He told me to drink a shit ton of water. Oh, he didn't say it that way, but he said drink a lot of water. So I drank a shit ton of water. See if maybe we just flush it out, and you know, hopefully it'd be all okay. Well, no, didn't happen like that. Same levels as yesterday. So now, for three days in a row, I have to fucking come up here again, and um, well, today they took blood work on me. Basically, they stuck me with a fucking needle. I hate needles, man. Unless it's for a tattoo. If it's for a tattoo, then that's fucking just fine. They drew some blood, and they're going to do some blood tests and work. And... No, I always, in my mind, sit there and tell myself all day long, the day before I know an appointment, like, everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. You're just fine. It's worked for most of my life. Now? I don't know. I'm nervous. I'm scared. Not cool, you know. I mean, he told me yesterday after he took after he did the physical that hey, he's like, you seem like a pretty fucking healthy human being. I'm like, hey, thank you. I try. Maybe I'm not so healthy. Am I dying? Is my life gonna be cut short and changed because of this shit? That's not cool, man. It's not cool. Okay. Nervous. It's scary. I, I just don't know what to think. I mean, probably the last thing I should have done is put it on the internet, but whatever. I hate fucking people in real life. I hate them. They're annoying. They're stupid. They suck. But. a good thing I went for my DOT renewal because now I can find out what's wrong with me, what exactly is wrong with me. I have no kidney pain, so it can't be a kidney stone. It sucks, I'm kind of betting on fucking diabetes. Like I said, I don't really know what the fuck that means. I don't really want to know. What I do know is that my mom and dad and my sister have it. My sister passed away had it. Nervous, man. Anyway, driving back home. Oh, 
Justin the Bishop, Saint Ignatius, whatever the fuck you want to call him, Bishop Saint Ignatius. Boom. Oh, it's Ron Head. So, uh, it's like 27 miles, I guess. Cool thing is, though, it's not fucking hot today in Montana. It's been dying hot here for all summer. 80s and 90s and, you know, low 100s. Holy fuck. Now it's, you know, it hasn't stopped raining today. Which is kind of nice. Woke up fucking cold this morning and my fucking ankles, knees, and hips are from my last car wreck. A little bit of rain and people go fucking 55. Well, I guess that person's fucking old, so whatever. Still though, still! And in Montana we see this a lot. Big ass tractors for the farms. Don't give a fuck, they will use a back road. They're like, dude, there's a highway. I'll use the fucking highway. Thanks. Thank you. That's what we need on the highway is a big ass fucking machine. Oh, now it gets off the road. Now it's on the shoulder. Whatever. I probably do the same thing, but whatever. Oh. I'm not happy about this, man. I gotta go back tomorrow? More shit? More tests? Fuck. I just want to be healthy, work, and be a married, happy man. I am pretty happy, but now I'm fucking nervous. Son just started school this week. I don't know, man. I in between jobs, it's kind of bullshit. I just wish I could have a fucking continuous job. <sighs> to be honest, I haven't had a real good job in a while. Get fucking bored. I need to I need to be able to support my family, support myself. The longer I don't work, I'm serious, man. I'm more and more depressed. I can feel it. I, I don't sleep. Fucking massive mood swings every once in a while. Okay, more than once in a while, but. I got mood swingy. I'm tired, there's nothing fun to do. I just. Well, nothing's going right at this moment in time in my life, and it kind of fucking sucks. All I want to do is work, support my family, and be happy. Work would fucking make me happy. A lot of people bitch and moan. Oh man, I fucking I hate my job. I. I fucking sucks. I hate going to work. Bitch all you want. Give me your job then if you don't want to fucking work. Be broke. I'll switch places. I'll work your job better than you fucking work it. A hundred times better, man. But as it stands, I don't have a job. I'm fucking bored. I was depressed. Almost uh, nine years ago now. I guess. Eight, nine years ago, I was fucking pretty depressed. And I lost my sister. And, you know, I remember everything how that felt. I was always bored. Nothing seemed fun. I couldn't sleep for shit. I... <clears throat> I don't know. Life sucked. I mean, when you lose your full-blood sister... You know, it, it's just... It's hard, man. It fucking sucks. And, you know, I'm starting to feel the same type of shit that I did then. You know, clinically depressed. And I'm like, I'm sitting there thinking, like, no, I can't be. I just got married. My son just started school. This shit's awesome. I'm happy with everything around me, but it's my personal stuff that's getting down on me. I don't know. 
And the most fucked up part of it to me is that nobody notices. Nobody around me. Friends, family, all over, my son. I'm pretty sure my wife knows she's just she knows I most of the time I'm like talking about stuff. But I'm pretty sure she knows. No, I'm sure she does. Sucks. But nobody will talk to me about it. You're so mad, you're so mean. Yeah. Because if I show off just a little bit of anger around the house, everyone around there is like, oh my god, you're so mad, you're so angry. You're like, excuse me for showing a little bit of fucking emotion. Always told me, don't, don't hold up the mood. So then when I don't, people are like, man, he's mad. He's angry. Don't be around him. Don't, don't talk to him. Don't even make eye contact. Fuck, man. What I need is some eye contact. What I need is someone to fucking talk to. More than YouTube. I love y'all. But. Some feedback. I don't know. Maybe I should go fucking sign up another goddamn therapist. I don't know. I'm sit on someone's couch. Talk to them. Somebody I don't even fucking know. Yeah. I don't, I don't fucking know. Just went through Pablo on our way to Rodan. This rain is relentless. I'm kind of liking it though. We haven't had rain in at least two months. Last time it rained, we had a badass lightning storm with it. And it was more lightning than rain, which started, you know, five different fires around the area I live. Firefighters got paid. Good for them. Oh my god, do we have to go this slow? We don't have to go this slow yet. Fuck state-owned vehicle? I didn't ride right up on your ass. You slapped your brakes on about 40 and a 55. Road rage. I get road rage real fast. Here, but now it's 45. Jesus. If everyone drove the way I did, I'd be so happy. But they don't. I can't help that. But people could just drive a little bit smarter. Now, it'll probably make the rule a better place. There's 50 yards between you and the next car. I already keep hitting your fucking brakes, dude. If you're driving a state owned vehicle, you better fucking live from here. Because if you're not from around here and this scares you, you better just go back home. It ain't even winter yet. Winter's a shit, though. I love driving in the wintertime. Highways get sketchy as fuck. Oh well. Ronan, the Pizza Cafe, that place fucking rocks, man. Pizza Cafe, Dairy Queen, Dairy Queen's the shit too. I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty bummed out. I don't know what to think about this doctor's appointment and all this shit, man. I really don't. I just. I'm gonna lie, it fucking scares me. I don't know what's, what's wrong with me. Fuck, state owned vehicle, man. 807707. You drive like shit. State owned. God. God. I fucking hate people. Especially when I'm driving. Especially. Whatever. I mean, I don't know what to think. I 
I spilled my guts somewhere, so I guess I turned on my fucking phone camera and let it out. Talk to my wife later when she gets off work. And, uh, it's raining, it's ruthless. This is the most rain we've had in a while. It's fucking blows. I was gonna go fishing and I didn't bring a sweater. And this is cold rain, not that, just summer rain. This is cold rain. God. Damn, I can't wait. I should have passed these fuckers. I should have hauled ass like I usually do and passed these fuckers. RV, I can't blame. They can only go so fast. But the goddamn truck in front of me? Of course, it's a fucking Ford. Drives like shit. No, I've driven... I've, I've ridden behind three different Fords today on the highway. Every one of the drivers fucking sucked. First one was a guy who was like 111 years old, swerving all over the goddamn road. I just passed him. Like, fuck it. If you hit me, I'm passing you. I don't give a fuck. Even if you hit me, I'm going around you. Came kind of close. He was alright though. He pulled off and got out. I don't know what the fuck he said. Next guy, next Ford I was behind was a Ford Expedition. And they refused to go over 55 miles an hour. Refused. On a highway, that's 70 miles an hour. It's not fucking Idaho where it's 55. It's Montana. 70. On the highways. Oh shit, travel cop. What's up, buddy? There's no laws against having a phone out on a reservation. Down in Missoula? Yeah, you're not supposed to be on your phone while you're driving. Sam hit his brakes, that kind of made me nervous. Fuck, man, I had a doctor's appointment and I have to deal with the police? That's not cool. But no, no police. Thank God. God bless America. <laughs> Damn, and the storm. Like, on my way up here, the storm was barely... Ugh. The storm was barely in my hometown of Mission. Like, it was just barely sprinkling. Barely. I could have gone fished in that. Now I see the storm has moved south to my hometown. And oh fucking sheriff. Jesus. It's not you it's not normal to see cops that close on the reservation, man. Something's happening. Some crackhead's about to get busted. Some meth head just got caught. Uh, anyways. I wanted to go fishing. Rainy out. I don't have a coat in the truck and I don't have a sweat. This is bullshit. And I get a needle in my arm to draw blood today. God damn. It's not the best day this week, man. Should have been fishing yesterday when it was fucking 78 degrees out, which is a nice, cool day. Whatever. Anyways. I'm gonna end this video. I'm gonna start another one because I want to show you these shitty drivers from at least here to home, which is only like 13 miles. Peace.